Hi bestie! Welcome to the Best Friend Book Club. I'm so happy you made it. I'm Sarah and I read mostly romance and fantasy. Today I'm going to be diving into all the books I've read in the month of November. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the book itself, how I felt about it, and I'm going to make sure that there are no spoilers in this review. So if you do want a more in-depth review of these books, you can either follow me on Instagram at bestfriend.bookclub, add me on Goodreads and we can stalk each other. I would like that. Or um, you can check out the Best Friend Book Club podcast because some of these books will be featured on there. But, oh my god, that's like the 15th time I've filmed this freaking intro. With all that being said, let's just jump right in. What I will say is this, please read this series. I just finished Era of Fire. I can't wait to get into Queen of Shadows. I need everybody to read the series so we can all talk about it together. So first up, we have Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. That's either going to be somewhere over here or somewhere over there. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I will have it somewhere on the screen. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. It's technically the second book in the series, but it is the third book that I read in the series because I decided to read Assassin's Blade first. Yes, I don't need to hear about how I should have read it in publication order. I'm very happy with where I read Assassin's Blade, but that's for another time. Um, so in this series, I don't want to talk too much about what happens in Crown of Midnight because it'll kind of spoil what happens in Throne of Glass. But in this series, we're following this assassin, Selena Sardothian, and some things go down in the first book. So the second book, she's like learning new things about the world that she's in. I gave this book, I think, a four out of five. It was pretty good, but I feel like it has potential to be better in the series because the same thing happened when I read the Akatar series. I read the first book and I was like, this is a masterpiece. And then I read the second book and I was like, hold on. No, that wasn't. So I felt like the same thing was going to happen. So I think four stars is safe for Crown of the Night. Next up, we have Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. This is the second book in the Empyrean series that is currently unfinished. Um, it just came out this month, I think. I think it just came out this month and this was one of my most anticipated reads of the year and I was severely disappointed. So I want to get into why I was severely disappointed, but I also don't want to spoil anything, but... I felt like there was a lot of information given to us and not a lot of questions answered from the first book. And that was very frustrating. I found myself frustrated with Violet and Zayden. Um, I don't want to get too much into it. This is so hard because I don't want to spoil it, but I also want to talk about it. I think there's going to be an episode about Iron Flame in the future on the podcast. So if you do want that episode, please let me know. But I just felt like it was very... Um, a lot of the drama that was added in felt very like telenovela for no reason, but that's where I'll leave that. Actually, no, I won't leave it there. I'm sorry. There's also like elements of this story that I feel like Iron Flame is just a bunch of other books put together. And I get that it's hard to have like an original idea, I guess, but there was just something about this book that I would read certain scenes and just be like, that is literally copy paste from this other book. And it just didn't feel like the excitement that I felt when I read Fourth Wing for the first time. I read Fourth Wing three times now, I think. I love Fourth Wing. I'm going to go read it a fourth time. Get it? Fourth Wing? Anyways, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, I'm going to go read Fourth Wing a fourth time. And I'm going to see if my feelings changed about it having read Iron Flame. I flew through Fourth Wing and I felt like I had to fight with myself to read Iron Flame. And I was just wanting to read it because I didn't want it spoiled for me. So with all that being said, I don't know if I said this already, I gave it a three out of five stars and I felt like the three was generous. The more I think about the book, the less I like it. And I think it should be the other way around where at first you're like, oh yeah, that was good. But as you think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. And it keeps going and going. And then you're like, that was actually amazing. That didn't happen for me. If you read it, let me know what you think in the comments. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this one. So next up we have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. And let me just say this now, I think Lauren Asher can do no wrong. Like she is so incredible. Anyways, so this follows um, Julian and Dahlia. It is a dual POV, uh, small town romance. Yes, small town billionaire romance. Um, so Dahlia and Julian are childhood rivals and ugh, this book is just so good. I think this is my favorite book that I read all month. It was so so good. So 
Um, she is an interior designer and he is a billionaire. I'm not going to tell you why he's a billionaire because it's kind of part of the story, but he's a billionaire and he buys properties in their small town and renovates them. And so his mom and her mom are childhood best friends. And so his mom asks him to work on a project with Dahlia while she's in town. Oh my gosh. Okay. So asks her to work on a project with her, asks him to work on a project with her while she's in town. And of course he can't say no to his mom. So they end up working on this house together. It's the forced proximity, the banter, the tension. I love this book so, so much. And there were just elements of their family dynamic that reminded me a lot of mine. Um, I just really, really loved this story. I will say, make sure to check the trigger warnings before you read this story, but it was absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10. I wish I could give it more than five stars. Absolutely loved it. Oh, almost forgot. Love Redesign is available on Kindle Unlimited. So if you're looking for another Kindle Unlimited book, that's the one that you should read next, in my opinion. Next up, we have God of Malice by Rena Kent. I need to stop talking with my hands. Next up, we have God of Malice by Rena Kent. So this is the first in the Legacy of the Gods series. This is a dark college romance series. And... Okay, what I will say is this, if you are looking for a dark romance that is just for the spice, like you're not looking for a plot at all, this is the book. This is the book. I also will say that the use of the word folds was absolutely crazy. It's almost like every other sentence during like these spicy scenes is just folds and I was like, relax, please stop that. Anyways, I gave this book a three out of five. So that we're following Killian, I'm like all over the place. We're following Killian and Glendon and they go to rival schools. And both of these schools have like these, I wanna say frats, but they're not frats, but are like gangs, very that. But um, the plot was definitely lacking. It felt like it was more setting up the series for the rest of the books. It felt like we're establishing all the couples in the first book, which, mm, wasn't a huge fan of, but establishing all the couples so that in the future, you know whose book is coming next. Um, I haven't read anything past um, God of Malice, but I know Nikolai's book comes out in December and I will be reading that because I am so excited. I don't know if I'm going to read all the ones in between, but I will definitely be reading Nikolai's book. Um, also, make sure to check trigger warnings on this one because just check the trigger warnings on this one. This one is also available on Kindle Unlimited. So if you want another KU rec, there you go. Um, I think I already said three out of five. Hold on, I have a little sip of my coffee. What I also will say is that Killian is absolutely unhinged, but I'm here for it. So. If you are a dark romance reader and you haven't read the Legacy of the Gods series, maybe give it a shot. Um, I'm not going to say I highly recommend it, but again, if you're looking for some spice, not some spice, let me back that up. If you're looking for a mostly spice book with like very little plot, that's the one for you. And that's where I'll leave that. Next up, we have Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. Again, I don't want to get too much into the description of the book because it's going to spoil what happened in Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. But what I will say is this is when we're starting to get introduced to some new characters and I feel like the story is shifting at this point. This is technically book three of seven and then they don't really count Assassin's Blade when you look at the Throne of Glass series. So book three of seven. I really liked it. This was a five-star read for me. I love, love, love all the characters we were introduced to. And I'm really excited for the next book. I hope it picks up a little bit more, but I still liked Air of Fire. I will say there's a lot of POV switching. So like right when you get comfy with one character, you're like, okay, we're gonna settle in and read about this character. They're like, just kidding, new character time. So that was a little frustrating, but I think that's just gonna be what's happening in the rest of the series. There's gonna be a whole podcast series on Throne of Glass by itself. 
So we already did Akatar. If you haven't listened to those episodes, go ahead and give them a listen. We did the entire Akatar series, breaking down every single book. And then now we're on the Throne of Glass series. So if you're interested in hearing more about what I think about Air of Fire, there's going to be um, some podcast episodes about that coming in the next couple months. So last book is Throttled by Lauren Asher. Yes, another Lauren Asher book. Are you upset? No? Good, because I'm also not upset. I haven't read this series and I've been putting it off. I don't know why. I think I see or I used to see more about the Dreamland Billionaire series. And so that was my first Lauren Asher series. But then I was like, then I read Love Redesign and I was like, okay, I don't just love the Dreamland Billionaire series like universe. I love Lauren Asher, period, in a sentence. She's so, so incredible. Anyways, so I decided to give Throttled a try. So Throttled is an F1 romance. So we're following Noah and Maya. It's a dual POV. And Noah is an F1 driver and Maya is a vlogger. And so Maya is going to follow her brother as he travels the world. And she's going to vlog what it's like to be behind the scenes during these F1 races, which I thought was really cool. Um, and so he, Noah is her brother's rival. This is so good. We get sneaking around, spice, tension a little bit. Not like, I didn't put it on my tension shelf on Goodreads. I have a lot of shelves on Goodreads, but that's for another day. Uh, I didn't put it on my tension shelf. I did put Love Redesigned on there. Anyways, that's not important. You don't care about that. Moving on. So my only knowledge of F1 before going into this book was Talladega Nights. So I had no clue what to expect, but I fell in love with this universe, with these characters. I am so excited to read the rest of the series. I'm already like halfway through Collided, but that's going to have to be on December's wrap up because I'm obviously not done with it. Um, I'm loving this series and I'm like wanting to put it off because I don't want it to end. But I guess that's just my own problem. I don't know if I said this about Love Redesigned, but the spice was there. Like the spice was spicing. So the spice was there for Love Redesigned and it was also there for Throttled. I already said this a million times, but I love Lauren Asher. I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5. There were just like some things that I felt like were missing from the story or some things that upset me a little bit, but all in all, absolutely amazing. This was also available on Kindle Unlimited, so please go read it. Like if you haven't read any Lauren Asher books, please, please, please just do me a favor and read them and then DM me and be like, oh my gosh, I just read this Lauren Asher book and I loved it. And I can be like, oh my gosh, let's be besties. You know, that wraps up all the books that I read in the month of November. If you've watched this far, comment a race car emoji or DM me a race car emoji. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I want to hear what you guys are currently reading or your favorite book ever, because I want to add some more books to my never ending TBR. Um, I'm just really excited to finish the Throne of Glass series right now. And then I think I'm going to finish the Dirty Air series sometime soon. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.